Come on! Jawbreakers at Orange Candy. He thinks he's so cool and have a nice day. In honor of the new release of MK1, today we are breaking down and reacting to all of the disturbing medical scenes and over the top injuries from. Let's dive right in. Oh, that looks like my buddy Noah. If you guys want to see Noah on this channel, let me know in the comments. Super extension. You can actually snap vertebrae. You can get like pieces of the bone to break off. We worry about those getting inside the tube or the tunnel where the spinal cord goes. Oh. Come on. Come on. Would you have that much bleeding? No, it looks like it's like bubbling over like too much hot water in there. Super dark, so dark blood meaning that it could be venous blood, not arterial, which is super bright. And then obviously there's this magic component where he's flying in the air. Oh, and then sliced in half. Such a good job of the half body anatomy that we see. Now it looks like marbling of like a steak when you get like a Wagyu or Kobe beef steak where there's a lot of fat tissue in there. Probably not as much in a human. You've seen the spine, you see the hump in the back that's typically mid thoracic area. Oh. Destroyed right through the chest. You see some wiggly blood vessels. Wibbly wobbly. So super cool. Hard to actually see exactly which vessels they are, but you have your big aorta that comes off. You got lots of branches off of the aorta going to each side. Looks just like this. Wow, really good job. And then there is that pad on top of the heart. The fact that it's still beating a little bit, it probably could beat for a few beats outside because it's still having some electrical impulses and action potentials due to different gradients of how cellular activity works. Whoa, we're losing a limb and the blood is pouring out. You'd have arterial bleeding that would be pumping out. And if this actually were to occur and you are on scene or you would see somebody like this, this is where you would actually want to use that tourniquet that everybody wants to use. You want to use not a belt. You want to use something that's more fabric so you can get it tighter and have a fulcrum to spin it with. You want to stop the bleeding ASAP. <laughs> Anterior stab to the neck, but actually it looks like that blade has a curve up. If it was going straight through, you worry about the airway that is midline. The esophagus is just midline, but actually to the side a little bit. And then straight through to the back would be your spinal cord and the brainstem. brainstem. If it hits the brainstem, your autonomic nervous system, which has to do with automation, breathing and impulses to our heart would actually cease to function and you would die. Grenade to the mouth explosion. This is actually not that abnormal of an injury. This amount of facial trauma does come to the hospital. The first thing you need to do is secure an airway. It's actually easier than you think because you have direct access to looking at it. Just put a tube in there, then controlling the blood and getting a facial plastic surgeon involved to work on trying to fix this in the future. <gasps> Whoa, there we go. There's some Mortal Kombat moves. Fracture to the face. These are intense fractures. Besides the ice pick blades to the brain that are not sustainable with life, nasal bone fracture, transmitting energy all the way to the skull. Here is bone, down below it is cartilage. You can cause a lot of pain and actually can cause fractures of the maxilla above here and actually can go into your arches on your head. Wow, very cool to show us the ribs. Ribs aren't that big because a lot of it is also cartilage. Unless you explode open, you wouldn't fracture all those different pieces. Most of the time when people fracture bones, Bone! it's usually in one or two areas, not all of these. Oh, Nelly. Cool. Oh! I don't even know how to react to that like a meat grinder. I've seen people come to the emergency department with injuries in that industry. They get too close to heavy machinery and a limb, a digit gets stuck and gets just destroyed. I've had people not come in with their limbs. They've left them at work. If you have the appendage, bring it to the hospital. Make sure it's in a cool water ice bath that's not directly in it or on it so it doesn't cause freezer burn. Oh, is that like the kiss of death? <gasps> Wow, so somebody being burned. Ooh, burn! 
first degree, second degree, third degree. And we've talked about fourth degree. Third degree burn typically does not hurt. It singes the nerve fibers. Sometimes second degree deep will also need skin grafts. Obviously, if you're having fourth degree burns, you need a lot of reconstructive surgery. You also have to worry about when somebody's fully burned like that, that there's airway compromise because the fire is taking the oxygen away from where you're breathing. And then you're actually potentially also breathing in the fire, which then burning the mucosal membranes, increased swelling to that tissue. Oh, wow. We're seeing some good bone depiction of the neck. Look at that neck. This is not a chiropractic technique. Way too much force in one direction. Chiropractor or an osteopathic physician would do a technique to where it's called HPLA, high velocity, low amplitude, where it's super fast, but not a big motion. Oi. What's left? Oh, man. They love this half face look. If you see in the nose, you see the empty spaces. Okay, that's normal. It actually would be typically bigger than that. Bigger? The nose just doesn't go up into our brains. It goes back and then it connects to the back of our throat actually. And then you're seeing part of the mandible on each side is exactly what you would see in a CT scan of their face because we're doing slices. Whoa, what a crazy contraption. Straight through, midline, ripping right through the sternum. They have sternal saws. So when a cardiothoracic surgeon needs to do open heart surgery, they take a saw and they cut through your sternum so they can get to the heart, to the pericardium. And then they put you back together by using medical chicken wire and wire you back shut. Come on, that's like cheating. I wanna see not just fully skull gone, like maybe they need to leave some muscles on the skeleton just to give a little bit more color or intensity to it. Oh, very cool move. Jaw now looks like it's getting dislocated and then obviously the vertebral bodies in the back are totally destroyed and gone. We don't typically see too many where the bones just shatter like this. Sometimes in like major, major traumas, are they in pieces, so to speak? Oh, see the wings of the scapula. They look like wings and it's cool because there's attachments of different muscles to that area. It has to do with all these different types of movements and attaching and how our arms move on our bodies. Super cool, the arms aren't actually really attached by anything. They're just attached by connective tissue, not bones. Boom. Oh, <gasps> whoa. Come on! Come on! The intestines wouldn't go all the way up to the base of the skull like that, but you got your small intestine to your stomach, to the esophagus, to your throat, but we're missing the stomach there. It's not in the depiction. Oh, <gasps> what? The head just flying off. So you have your carotid arteries that are coming up each side. You also have vertebral arteries in the back as well as your basal arteries. So those could potentially bleed a lot versus just venous pooling blood that's gonna fly out of there. And actually we saw some remnants of what appears to be the spinal cord with some vertebrae. Whoa. The classic hole straight through the middle of the body. What are you busting through in that area? All your intestines, goodbye. The omentum that sits over top of it. And then you have your renal system, your kidneys in the back on each side. Those could be gone. Typically the kidney is higher on the left than it is on the right due to the liver being there. And then you have your ureters, which are the tubes from the kidneys down to the bladder. Wow, wow, wow. Super cool. I like this, the Mortal Kombat. If you guys enjoy Mortal Kombat, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys want me to react to this again, different characters. Also, big new things on the horizon. Check out my brand new supplement company, Life Happens. Definitely check out this playlist right here. And as always, please make sure that you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.